Hello, everybody. Um, at Mr. Ed Rosenberg here. Just a couple of things about the ID verification, and I think the suits um, will benefit by hearing this as well. Um, first of all, don't hit next. When you see that first screen, it's three screens. The first screen, if you just hit next, and then you go back, it seems to capture some information. And if you remember a while, people were complaining that the United States was missing. I think they were selecting United States, clicking next, and then when you, when you go back, it was gone. So definitely some options are getting lost when that happens. So, so don't do that. I don't know the suits want, want to look at that. A lot of people are saying that when they created the account 14 years ago, um, they used a different name. Um, that information is only on the main login ID. Um, it's not even on the account info, it's on the login info. And you can just edit that. And over the years, a lot of people didn't even put in real names. Um, that name, you can update it now, but that's not the name they're verifying. They, they really want to know from today on who, who the owner or point of contact is. Um, there's a lot of confusion also. The suits may want to look into it. On the, on the last screen, it says credit card information, address, and or, or, or the bank statement. And at that point, you already put in your personal information. You already gave your license and passport. So there's a little bit of confusion if it's the company information or the personal information. The personal information, I think, um, sometimes when you put in the company, it works anyways, but Amazon will work that out. Um, but at that point, it's the personal credit card statement or the personal bank statement, from what I can tell. Um, there's another point where, when you do the ID verification, where it says verified bank account, at that point, um, not in the next, next, next. That's just where you upload your bank account information. There, it's the company bank name, as far as I, it's pretty obvious. And a lot of times the name is not on it, yet the personal name is not connected to the company name, but Amazon will just certify in the last few to certify that that's the owner and that, that should work. Um, and one last thing, when you're putting in the personal information, um, if, not that it makes a difference, but you could put your license or your passport, and when you put in your passport, at least in the United States, I think some countries they may, but they don't have your birthday and they'll, on the license, at least in New York, it does. So if your birthday, for whatever reason, doesn't match, um, for your license, it'll be an issue, but for, for your passport, it won't. So everyone, best of luck and stay calm. Best place is, I think, the Facebook group, both the suits. You can go to seller forms if you want, nothing personal, but the Facebook group, ASTTG, is outstanding and almost every issue is getting resolved. Best of luck, everybody.